Hello guys, uh, in this uh, review I will present you a, a new uh, washing machine made by uh, Hire, the uh, HWAT-B14979 uh, uh, washing machine. Before I be be begin, please uh, excuse the, the mess around I've just uh, moved back into my apartment after it has been renovated and uh, I, uh, I had to uh, remodel everything and uh, um, I don't have the, uh, the old furniture, especially in my kitchen and that's why everything will be uh, placed all over. The reason why I uh, went for this brand is that the uh, previous uh, washing machine that I have, the uh, Samsung Eco Bubble Slim model, um, had its uh, motherboard fried after uh, seven years and a half. I considered this to be uh, unacceptable. Um, I uh, was uh, accustomed to, to have an appliance for, let's say, at least ten years. Uh, my old uh, washing machine made by Whirlpool uh, with the vertical uh, uh, axis lasted like 13 years and it, I kept it all along in, in the bathroom. Uh, it was really worn out and still uh, it did its job. And the Samsung one was kept right there where you see, where I will have this one also in the kitchen. Uh, so not in the same uh, humidity conditions and uh, still uh, it, uh, it went bad. So this is why uh, I um, left aside all, let's say, the big brands, the, the major brands of uh, appliances in this case. I went with this uh, uh, brand, uh, which is, of course, a Chinese brand. Uh, you see it right here and uh, I just want to give them uh, credit for it. This is how the washing machine comes. It is wrapped uh, really well. Uh, this was supposed to be the slim model also from, uh, from their lineup but honestly I don't know if this will be the case by the size of the entire package but who knows? Let's uh, take out the these wraps and uh, see how uh, the, the washing machine looks on a closer look. Here's how it looks. Um, since it weighs 80 kilograms, I will leave it uh, on that stand until the plumber will come in to, in, uh, to install it, but uh, let's peel this uh, protective things off of it. I really like what I've, I'm seeing so far. It was uh, wrapped really, really well and uh, secure And these things on the, on the back, I will leave them like this. Uh, keep in mind, um, you really must not forget to take out these four bolts uh, that uh, hold into place the washing machine. Uh, this one, this one, and uh, those two. You have the 
all the instructions. It's really easy to do right here on the back of the, the machine. Its dimensions are 85 centimeters in uh, height, 60 centimeters in uh, width, and 53 uh, centimeters uh, from uh, the wall to the front. So it's really a uh, slim model after all, but it looks uh, really awesome, really, uh, really beautiful. It's a uh, clean, uh, really pure white and this uh, black uh, theme on uh, on the dash right here where all the commands are and in the uh, detergent tray um, it's really a nice touch I went for this uh, machine because uh, despite its uh, uh, compact size uh, it can uh, wash up to 8 kilograms of uh, laundry. It comes with uh, a really impressive 10 year warranty for the parts and um, it also uh, is really silent from what I understand. It has a uh, direct motion engine uh, without uh, a belt um, that um, is really really silent so for me this will be uh, the most important thing of course uh, aside from uh, its uh, its warranty hopefully it will last um, also it has uh, 1400 rpms so it's v this is the the highest uh, the fastest spinning uh, washing machine I've owned so far and uh, the um, it's a really efficient one, uh, being A rated. So um, all these things combined uh, made me uh, choose this uh, this particular one. Of course, I uh, purchased it at a very uh, good price and a discount in my country, and uh, this also uh, mattered a lot. We open the machine by <laughs> simply pulling it. So there is no uh, notch right here that you need to press or to squeeze. You simply, um, let's say, put your big thumb against the washing machine and uh, you pull. And it opens really easy. But this was the first time, so uh, we see right here the uh, fact that it's slim and uh, in this small dimension you can wash so many clothes because this part it's also uh, narrower and inside it comes with more uh, accessories I will have to see exactly where I can put this it's some kind of a foam Maybe it's for the, the stability. Uh, this is also the uh, uh, hose that you will uh, attach to uh, connect the water to, to the washing machine. And also some plastic caps that you will use uh, behind the washing machine after you take out those uh, for uh, big bolts. Here's how it looks inside. Um, it is really, really nice. Let's see if I can uh, put more light. Now it should be better.
so the uh, the interior looks really really well Now all that's uh, left to be done is to uh, connect it and uh, see exactly how, uh, how it works. Right here. It's really nice so compared to my old washing machine in order to access this uh, uh, tray you need to press it and it comes out really easy. On that uh, Samsung one I was struggling to take it out with my nails. So You simply unscrew this part right here and you can take it out when it will be needed to uh, take out all the leftovers from from the clothes and then we put it back in So make sure you close it well, otherwise all the water will come out of the, here. So just like that on a vertical position. Perfect. Hopefully it will be really stable uh, when I will use these four standoffs that I've purchased from uh, AliExpress. Uh, they seem uh, way better than uh, the ones I've had before on my uh, washing machine. Um, and hopefully it will uh, keep it as uh, fixed and uh, steady as, uh, as possible. Uh, this stickers uh, most probably would be to install them beneath it you see two are uh, larger in size so they would come they would fit perfectly on the width of the uh, washing machine and the other two uh, right here on this uh, on this side but uh, personally I will not uh, I would not use this. This is all the paperwork that comes with the washing machine. So here we have the sticker with the uh, energy efficiency, the um, power consumption for 100 washes, uh, so 47 uh, kilowatts hour, 8 kilograms total uh, capacity, a uh, washing cycle of up to 3 hours and 35 minutes, I believe. The uh, water consumption, 44 liters. The uh, washing uh, efficiency, uh, B rated and only 69 decibels, the A rated. Uh, let's say sound uh, um, sound level also here the uh, other models so the hair iPro series 7 
um, contain all these uh, four models or something like this of washing machine. Uh, this particular one is the first one, the HWB14979. Uh, and uh, the S model, something like this. On some sites I saw it being sold as this, on others like, uh, like this one, the second one. <clears throat> but maybe it's the same thing. Uh, also, um, you can see uh, we can um, activate this 10-year uh, warranty and an extra warranty depends uh, how it is in each country. In my country, for, from what I've understood, we get a 5-year extra war warranty if we, uh, um, let's say, uh, put uh, the, uh, uh, the product, the uh, series number, um, on the uh, registration site. So, you have it right this, right here, registerhair.com. And then you can uh, paste all the information there. This sticker uh, shows the uh, uh, level of detergent and softener uh, you need to use, but only if you have uh, medium or low hardness water. Uh, in my area, the water. In my area, the water is really hard on a lime scale and um, yeah, I will see exactly what I'll have to do there. Also, the uh, uh, user's manual and the uh, warranty card. The registration uh, steps are really easy all the process you just need to uh, scan this uh, QR code on your uh, washing machine and uh, it will take you on uh, their website where you need to uh, complete uh, all, uh, all the information right there it doesn't take you more than one minute by doing so you will get uh, five uh, years extra warranty on top of the uh, let's say two years in my case um, that uh, this uh, washing machine comes in uh, in my country the washing machine has been installed and uh, it simply looks amazing I've already um, made a uh, couple of uh, um, tests of uh, washing tests just of uh, 15 minutes each uh, to see if um, anything leaks or uh, it's something wrong but it's really all good uh, I can already tell you that I am simply astonished and amazed by the um, low uh, sound levels of this washing machine it is uh, almost dead silent uh, as you will see at some point uh, we will not be able to hear anything else aside from the um, cotton clothes that are inside of it right now on the spin um, cycle though uh, at max uh, 1400 rpms because uh, i've uh, mounted it on uh, this uh, rubber stands I've purchased on Aliexpress um, there were some uh, uh, vibrations especially on uh, this side uh, you can imagine my uh, old wooden floor although it looks like a lake uh, in mint condition still it has some uh, irregularities in the level 
So this is not due to the washing machine. I uh, I will do more uh, setup tests in the future and if I don't like what I'm seeing right now um, I am really thinking of either adding some uh, uh, anti-slip pads like these ones and uh, again uh, leave it on those four mounts or uh, simply take it off of those uh, uh, mounts and uh, just leave it as it is to be as uh, as tight as sturdy as possible on this uh, wooden floor but without any further ado uh, let's uh, start the washing cycle so right here Basically, I have my uh, white clothes, um, all cotton. First, we need to uh, put right here the detergent in this tray. I think this uh, uses only liquid this time, at least I will use it like this. So, the detergent is here. Also, the water, the um, anti uh, anti lime or water softener you put it right here the clothes softener um, you put it in this area number two and in number three if you have like a disinfectant uh, for the, the clothes you put it right there okay so first we'll add the uh, detergent right about the max level which is there I will also put here the uh, anti uh, lime um, thing and uh, the softener That is the max level. You have uh, both max levels um, written right there. We close the tray. We take these things off. And now we can uh, start the washing machine. The power on button is right here, you need to hold it. Right now you can see it's set to auto on eco 40 to 60 degrees. In order to change the washing cycles, um, you use this uh, wheel right here. You can turn it to the right or to the left without any problem. So right here we have the cotton program. Set on auto you can set if you want to remove some stains you press there if you want to I guess uh, delay the washing cycle you can choose there uh, I think it's in uh, in minutes or in hours I don't want to mistake but it goes up to 24 uh, the steam uh, you can use that program here when you press on the stain removal uh, you have grass, wine, uh, juice, some other stuff like dirt or something like this if you uh, have worn uh, your clothes to work I think it's uh, dairy or something like that um, here we have uh, the temperature you set it if you want to change it you press temp once again it goes to 60 or 90 so we have 20 30 40 i will let it to 60 you can choose the extra lines like um three programs um P0 and uh, the speed it's 
1400 or you can lower it at 600, 8, 1000, 1200 and 1400. I will leave it to the max, the temperature to 60 <clears throat> and this is about it. I will not use the extra rinds, uh, they are not uh, black clothes. And everything is uh, set, we press the uh, play button. Just hold it a bit, you see it's locked and now it starts. It's really nice that it has, it has a, a light, it will shut off after a moment, but uh, basically this is uh, pretty much it. You can see how silent it is. So, as it is with these settings, the entire program will last 1 hour and 36 minutes. Right now we are at 1 hour and 35 left. The light shut off and the, the washing cycle continues. It's really a, an amazing um, washing machine. It's, uh, I, I could not believe that uh, it will be this uh, smooth running and silent. Keep in mind the spin cycle thing that is, uh, it really depends on what uh, type of floor you have and uh, the, the setup that you lift the washing machine on. I uh, really think that I, if I will uh, let go of those four mounts uh, it will not vibrate this much. I'm starting to think that those four mounts are really good only for like an oven or for something that uh, something else but not a washing machine that uh, that spins
one hour to go and still the all that we can hear is just the the clothes being uh, washed and uh, pretty much that that is it I'm really looking forward to see how the uh, spin cycle will be this time Now we see a uh, faster spin uh, cycle beginning. So I think that was 1400 RPMs and uh, it, uh, it looked really, uh, really steady this time. Uh, not to mention, the, the sound is simply astonishing, I'm telling you. Let's see right now.
So it really comes down to uh, how well you manage to set it up. But honestly, it's really amazing for these RPMs to to be this quiet. Not even the cat is scared when uh, the spin cycle is at the max. Overall, it's an amazing uh, machine. Uh, all that matters now is uh, how uh, uh, how much it will last. So. Basically, uh, the the warranty of the parts and their uh, uh, endurance will uh, will have the the last uh, words. But if you want an amazing washing machine for a really low price, uh, this eight kilogram slim model. I mean, it's more than you could ever uh, could ever need in case you like to uh, purchase this uh, awesome washing machine guys I will be grateful to you if you'll use the Amazon links found in the description of the video as well as in the uh, comment section below until next time, uh, thank you so much for watching, I wish you all the best to have uh, as uh, clean as uh, possible uh, clothes um, with a uh, appliance, with a washing machine that uh, really will not make you want to run out of the house to enjoy the washing process and uh, I'll catch you in the next reviews. Bye bye.